execution, and then patience. The balance between these two things is one of the biggest determiners of success or not in life, business, and in the gym. What's up guys, Taylor here with bonus lesson number four. I told you guys I had a bonus lesson. I may even come out with the number five. There's so many things that come to me that have helped me in business and helped me in the gym and hopefully will help you too. But today what I wanna talk about is how do you execute and what does that mean? And then how do you be patient? As far as execution goes, I can tell you this. I've had tons of ideas over the years and I can tell you that everybody's got a good idea. Everybody has a plan of something that they want to do or say that they're going to do. But execution is the name of the game. Ideas aren't worth anything unless you're willing to execute on those things and pull the trigger. And you know what? There are times when I've executed well and there are times where I've been stagnant in business. Even recently, there have been times where I was a little stagnant in business simply because I would not execute on, execute on my ideas. Sometimes it's because you're afraid, right? You're afraid to fail. You know others are gonna judge you. You'll fall flat on your face. What if it was all for nothing? It's this self-talk that sabotages us into not going out there and just executing. In business, that will sabotage you quickly. And in the gym, that will sabotage you extremely quick. You've gotta know that there are gonna be times where you hit sticky, sticky spots. There are gonna be times where you don't know exactly what to do. That self-talk in your head is going to tell you you're gonna fail, you're gonna fall on your face. It's gonna give you any, every reason in the world why you shouldn't do it. I'm too busy, I don't have enough money. Those things stop you from executing. Sometimes it's just flat out laziness and I've been as guilty as the next person. So I'm not here to judge anyone. I'm just here to tell you that what has helped me in my business and when I'm in the gym is execution. Consistently executing on a daily, weekly and monthly basis. Setting baby goals and taking little steps. And everyone in this gym, every coach will tell you, and my clients will tell you that we build on all those little bitty success points. All those little bitty bits of execution that add up to something great. Execution is the name of the game. But a lot of us, we execute and then we're impatient. My wife, my friends, Jimmy, all the trainers at the gym will tell you, uh, patience is not one of my virtues. But I've learned over the years the hard way that you have to be patient. You have to be patient in business. You have to be patient in life. You have to be patient with your goals in the gym. You see, the media and all these companies and gurus out there, they make these big promises. They feed into that, that notion that you can have it easy. See, it's been programmed into our DNA for a very long time, hundreds if not thousands of years, to get as much as we can and work as little as possible to achieve that. It's a survival instinct. But you know what, it doesn't serve you well if you wanna evolve and you wanna become the best version of yourself. So most of us get impatient. We execute, we wait, what? Four hours, a day, a week, and then we quit, we move on to the next thing. We show very little patience. If you wanna be successful at anything, you have to be willing to execute and then be patient and wait. I'm five years in the game. I'm a long way in business from where I want to be. I'm 10 to 15 years in the training and working out game, and I'm still not at the end game for myself. This is, an, this is a process that is ongoing for me. So you have to embrace that process. You can't buy into that shake weight or that seven minute abs or or that tread climber, or that body wrap, or, or any of those other gimmicks out there that, that although they'll, they'll tell you that, you know, with a balanced diet and all these other things, that that's the key. What they're really trying to communicate to you is you too can have this body that this person on TV has with as little work as possible. And that person on TV, they didn't look like that from doing just that. They did it from working their ass off day in and day out, executing on a daily basis and being very patient. When I first started personal training, I weighed 170 pounds, but I was determined to put on muscle and get stronger. It took me years, but now I'm up to 212 pounds. I'm still not exactly where I want to be, but 
I have worked tirelessly over the years on my nutrition and training to get to a certain point for years, not days, not weeks, not months, and then said, oh, this sucks, and then trying something else. For years, I devoted myself to this. You have to take that mindset in business and in the gym, that it's gonna get hard, and that trying one thing may not work, and you're gonna fall flat on your face. But you have to understand this very important thing. This is something my dad told me a long time ago. It stuck with me for a long time. Nothing worthwhile in this life comes without paying a price. You suffer now and do what others won't so that one day you can be and have what others can't. All right, guys, that's lesson number four. Stick with me. I may even have a lesson number five next week. Please, please like and share this video and support it. Show me some love uh, if you appreciate the information. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until next week, guys.